Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about Amazon Polly and how we can utilize this service in Java. So first thing is what is Amazon Polly? Basically, it is a service that turns text into lifelike speech, allowing you to create application that talk. So it is a text to speech service that uses advanced deep learning technologies to synthesize speech that sound like human voice. With dozen of lifelike speeches across a variety of languages, you can select the ideal voice and build speech enabled applications. So we have multiple voices available in Amazon Polly. We can see the list here on Amazon's official documentation. So we have different languages according to country and we have different male and female IDs who speak according to the country's uh, native language. For example, English in UN is different. English in uh, India is different. Uh, English in US is different so that's how it is uh, next thing is what are the benefits of Amazon Polly so Amazon Polly has benefits like it uh, sounds like a natural sounding voice uh, it provides us real-time streaming and it is a very low-cost uh, service that is provided by Amazon so now we will go through the code on how to uh, get started with Amazon Polly and how to write our code in Java uh, before that, we need to have a role in AWS, which should have aid Amazon Poly full access. So I have a role which uh, has the policy Amazon Poly full access. So I have this access now. Uh, let's start with the coding part. So first thing is we need to have a POM dependency of AWS SDK. So I am using uh, this dependency where I have uh, AWS Java SDK Poly dependency with me. We also need uh, com.google.soundlibs uh, the jlayer dependency for our sound purposes because we are going to be giving a text input and we are going to be retrieving a sound so we need this dependency and we have some basic maven plugin to build this uh, artifact now uh, starting with the code what we are going to do here is we are going to provide a simple text and we are going to listen the output in different voices so first thing is we have a main function which will run this program. Now we are creating one class and we are providing one sample in it. So our sample could be any text and we are providing an output format. So for this example, I am using MP3 output format, which is a very simple and uh, widely used output format in audio ranges. Then we are going to be using advanced player to play the program. Uh, I am overriding the default methods playback started and playback finished. I have a loggers here, basic CSO outputs that our playback has started and our playback has finished. And at the end, we are playing the playback. So that's a normal process. Now, what are we using here? So, first for our constructor, we need to define the Amazon Poly client. So, we have this Amazon Poly class where we are building a client. This is the standard that we use across all the Amazon programs where we need to define a client builder. In this client builder, we define a region where we want to run this program. So I have defined the region as AP South 1, which is Mumbai. And I am not defining any credentials here because I have set up AWS toolkit in my IDE and I have the default credentials provided here. So I don't need to provide the credentials explicitly in my program. Uh, next thing is we need to build a request here. So we are building a described voice request first and from this described voice request we need to get the voice which we want to use for our program. So this described voice request we, go, we are going to use and we are going to uh, get all the poly voices available. So poly.describe voices it will give us the described voice result. So this will give us all the voices available in Amazon. Now from these all the voices which voice we want to use so this is a list it will provide us a list in this list we have the basically in this result we have a list of voices so from that voices we need to choose which one which one we want to use so if we see the voice class this voice class is present in aws sdk itself in this voice class we have different variables like gender of the voice id of the voice language code name of the voice so we can use any of this parameter to loop through and find the ideal voice that we want to use in our program so if i go to the voices section again i see that for india we have two different voices aditi and ravina and for different uh, regions for example english british we have emmy and emma 
So I'm, I'm going to be using these voices in my program first. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> so to get the audio stream, all we want to do is we're calling this uh, synthesized program here. In this program, we are building a synthesized speech request. This request will have the text and will have the voice ID. So whichever voice we are getting here, that voice ID we need to define. This will provide us the request. We are going to synthesize the speech and get the audio stream out of it. So it is a very simple uh, process. First, we need to define the voice that we need to use in our program. Um, then we need to build an input, uh, basically a request, which will have the input text and the voice. And then from that request, we need to pass it to the our poly program. And then using the player, we are going to play the output. So I am going to be using Aditi here first. So Aditi is the voice that is present in India region. So what I'm doing here is from this result and the list of voices, I'm filtering where the name of the voice is Aditi, get that particular voice. So once I get that voice, the same voice will be used here uh, to get the ID and pass in our synthesis speech request. So very simple uh, program. You can find the similar program in uh, Amazon's documentation. I have done minor changes here. Uh, our sample here is, so what we are going to do is we are going to pass these two sample. First sample <clears throat> I'm going to pass is our normal sample. So my sample Hindi is in Hindi language. Uh, so this is a pure Hindi uh, which we have written here and the Aditi is what we are going to use here to read this text. So that we get the feel of Indian, uh, you know, accent in the output. So let's run this program. बधाई हो आपने इस कार्यशील डेमो को सफलता पूर्वक बनाया है तो दैट्स हाउ आवर प्लेबैक स्टार्टेड वी गॉट द मैसेज एंड वी गॉट द प्लेबैक फिनिश्ड मैसेज दिस वाज द सैंपल दैट वी यूज्ड एंड दिस वाज इन प्योर हिंदी एंड वी यूज्ड अदिति फॉर इट नाउ इफ लेट्स से वी वांट टू पास सम डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज सो आई एम पासिंग एमा हियर सो एमा इज फ्रॉम ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश एंड वी वांट टू पास आवर डिफरेंट सैंपल व्हिच इज आवर which is in pure English language. So let's pass that sample here and run this program. Congratulations. You have successfully built this working demo of Amazon Polly in Java. Have fun building voice enabled apps with Amazon Polly. So we used a English language text input and we used a uh, Emma as our speech reader. Now let's say we are again passing our Hindi language text, but to read this Hindi language, we are still using Emma. So Emma is from British English, and if we pass Hindi language here, the output may not sound may not sound perfect. It may be a little bit in in US accent how they pronounce Hindi. So let's run this program and see. Badi ho. Our pen is carrier shield demo co sap halit or poor vac bunai hai. Okay, so that's how it is. Basically, if you pass a Hindi text and if we ask Emma to read it, obviously uh, the accent is gonna be British and the words are not gonna be much clear. So it's better to use uh, the basically the voice which you want to use according to the language. But uh, uh, have, we can have fun with different uh, inputs in different languages. We can pass different voice ID and we can ask them to read the same English text and we can see what is uh, the output that we are listing. But uh, in, in actual applications, we should ideally use the ideal uh, you know, voices. For example, for Indian Hin English, we need to use Aditi or Ravina. And for British uh, English, we should use Emma. As, uh, and for US English, we should use Ivy or Joanna. So that's how it is. For different languages, we should use the uh, different voices accordingly. Uh, so that's how it is. This is a very simple uh, program. Uh, I will also upload this program on my Git and I will share you the link. Otherwise, you can also find the similar program in uh, AWS do official documentation and you can make the similar changes as per this video and you will be good to go with your first program. Uh, thank you for watching the video.